Hey guys, how you doing? As you can see uh, by the debris and the giant golf ball, I'm here at Spaceship Earth today. So I just wanted to talk for a minute. And yeah, I'm at, I am at Epcot. Last night, something happened that I, I wanna just discuss real quick. And I'm sitting, I'm right next to speakers. Let me move again. Guys, last night, I don't know what to say, man. Our president had the opportunity to denounce white supremacy and racism in front of the world. And he didn't do it. And that's, that's just unexcusable. Let me tell you something. I used to be an avid Pokemon Go player. We would go places to parks and whatever and just like find a gym, just play like crazy. I got into a bad habit of on my way to work at four o'clock in the morning, I would stop at a business that was closed. No parking lights, no street lights, nothing. Just pull in, park, play for about 20 minutes and then leave. Well, one day, one morning, a police officer drove by. He noticed a car sitting in this parking lot. So he came up and he sees this big hairy guy dressed completely in black because that was like kind of like my uniform. I had to dress all in black. And um, I had the, the I, another officer came and another officer came. And yeah, I'll admit it was suspicious. It was also the last time I played Pokemon Go for that matter. But I told them that I wanted to use my cell phone before getting on the interstate, which was 100% true. I just didn't tell him I was playing Pokemon Go. So needless to say, I think because of my skin tone, I was able to walk away without being hauled off or in the back of a police car or anything else. I don't subscribe to the theory that all cops are bad. But I also don't believe that is a profession where any bad apples can exist. Chris Rock said it best where you never hear of a pilot's union coming out and say, oh, that, that, that pilot for Delta Airlines, that was, he was a bad apple. No, that doesn't happen. Shouldn't happen in the police force either. So guys, what does Black Lives Matter to me? When, when I hear people say all lives matter, I have no doubt that some of them actually mean it with the most sincerity. The problem is, yes, all lives matter. Black lives are more urgent right now. It's kind of like when two patients walk into an ER, one's got a stab wound and one's got a broken wrist. Um, our, our friends, who are people of color, they're the stab wounds. They are the ones that need the attention right now. They need the focus. They need our support and our love and to stand with and as best as we can. When earlier this year, when Black Lives Matter was, um, when it was coming to a forefront, I stepped up and I said something and actually somebody spat back at me, who are you to say anything? You don't know what these people have been through. And yes, I may not know what they've been through, but I also know what they shouldn't be going through. I honestly believe that we should be, should live in a society where everybody doesn't have to look over their shoulder, where they don't have to worry about, ooh, is, is he here to rob me? Or, oh, is, is this guy up to no good? And people shouldn't be fearful of the police. They shouldn't be fearful of those who should be protecting us. There's a lot of messages here. There's, oh man, there, there's such a mess that we're in right now. And how, how are we gonna fix this? How, is, how are we gonna fix it? I honestly think it's going to take a generation to, to clean all this up because there are some people 
who are too goddamn stubborn to change their ways. I'm open for suggestion. I'm open for discussion. If somebody, anybody, has a better way of doing it. I know our current leadership is not it. It's not it, folks. Like I said at the beginning, the guy in charge, our president, he had an opportunity to denounce racism and denounce white supremacy, and he did not take it. He did not do it. Can't tell you why. I know he's out shortly. I, mean, it, I can tell you as much as the sky is blue, even though it's a little grayish right now, but it's still, you, you know where I'm getting at. So guys, let's keep the discussion going. Let's keep the love going, that's for damn sure, because there's so little of that right now. There, there's a lot of animosity, there's a lot of hate, and who am I? I'm just some fat, hairy, white guy saying we all need to get along. Well, it's more than that. We do need more than that. Just as a nation and as a people, we need to get our act right, because it's such a mess right now. The last few weeks have been really emotional for me, both like on a national level and on a personal level with stuff. So I'm not trying to stir up any drama and make things worse for people. But at the same time, guys, we gotta, we have to seriously unfuck ourselves as a country. I'm sorry. I, I know I don't cuss that much on this channel, but we, we need to, unscrew our head, pull our head out of our asses. This, this is not, this is not how we should be going about. Guys, thanks for listening to me rant. Again, keep the discussion going. And just know, you know, I wanna stand with you. I love all you guys. Thanks for watching.